Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try in this tutorial I'm going to show you five tips to help you touch faster your images when it comes to Photoshop. So these tips are going to really benefit you and I would request that you hit the like button on this video because this is going to be a very nice and resourceful tutorial for you or video that is going to give you these very nice and beautiful tips. So make sure that you hit the like button. So right now this is the image you're going to be using for demonstration or purposes of demonstration. And I want to tell you or give you this tip. So tip number one is going to be always make sure to get your image right in the camera when you're shooting it. So the very first tip is get your image right when you're shooting it and make sure you make, make sure you get the best lighting out of it and you get the best white balance because when you do this and get the image right when you're shooting it straight in the camera, it means that you're going to be really excited and you're going to be having that very nice nice and anxiety that is going to help you retouch your image faster and you post or deliver within a short time and like when you shoot your images when you have wrong lighting or when you get your images wrong it means that you're going to take a longer time trying to correct the mistakes that you captured within the image while you're shooting it so that is going to make you take a longer time trying to fix and correct those mistakes so tip number one is always make sure to get the image right in the camera so we are going to look at tip number two so tip number two is going to be getting a well calibrated uh, monitor so by well calibrated monitor i mean your monitor should be displaying the right amount of colors or the right or accurate colors because when you're looking at the image as you're color grading it for example and maybe you're trying to put or make different adjustments to it and you're trying to color grade it for example always make sure that you can see the colors right as you're doing the color grading because if at all you're looking at the colors right as you're color grading it means that you're going to be having to do less or paying less attention on the colors because you're looking at the colors accurately and you're going to think less while you're trying to color grade them so make sure that your screen is calibrated and you have a screen that is showing accurate colors and i would recommend that you use maybe most apple products have right on accurate colors so for my purposes i use a macbook pro so you can get any macbook it is going to be showing you accurate colors and there are a number of products or computers that are going to be displaying for you colors accurately so tip number two Always make sure that your monitor or screen you're using or computer you're using is accurately showing the colors right. So that is uh, tip number two for us. So let's look at tip number three. So tip, tip number three is going to be using actions and lots or even presets. So for example, actions are more of shortcuts that are going to enable you retouch faster. For example, for this image, if at all I'm um, to do frequency separation, I have to go through all the process of pressing or creating these layers of frequency separation then coming and turning this off then i come to filter blah i come to gaussian blah i do everything that regards frequency separation just imagine you have tons and tons of images that you want to work on or retouch meaning you're going to be tired even before you go past the tenth image so always make sure to use actions or presets or lights that are going to help you speed up your retouching process in photoshop so let me show you this so for example in instead of doing or creating those folders manually i'll just come right here to my actions and i play my action since this is an 8-bit image you can see i'm just going to come and i play my 8-bit frequency separation action and simply go and dial in the blur and simply press ok and the actions are going to the action is going to create for me those layers automatically and i'm just going to to go straight into the retouching process just look at just that just took a couple of seconds and we are good to go and i just go straight into uh blending the skin tones just like that so just come after i playing the action just come and start blending the transitions within uh, the skin tone using for example the mixer brush tool or even the lasso tool so you can see by just doing or playing the action we are able to save a couple of seconds so always make sure to use lats or presets and when it comes to color grading you can simply come to your lats and you simply 
come to your color look up right here and simply apply that with just a single click as opposed to uh when you don't have these lats or presets so you can apply any lat that you want and simply reduce the opacity to the one of your liking and with just a single click you are going to be able to save a couple of time trying to do color grading on your images so you can see just a single click you are able to color grade with just a single click so that is tip number three so tip number three is all about using lats or presets to help you or enable you retouch faster so the other tip which is a uh, tip number four is going to be retouching at a distance yeah this may look a little bit odd or it may look a little bit awkward but always make sure to retouch your images at a distance Meaning, when, you re when you're doing your retouching and you retouch your image at a distance or you're looking at your image uh, from a distance and you're trying to work on it. For example, when it comes to using, for example, the Mixer Brush tool, I'm just going to demonstrate that. When it comes to using the Mixer Brush tool and you zoom all the way in and you're trying to uh, blend the transitions within the skin, you can see you have to work on this area and you paint or blend those transitions. You can see... That it takes a couple of time or minutes trying to work and you have to play around with different sizes of as uh, a brush when you're working on the image but when you're working on the image at a distance just look at the time you're just going to save right now so i get one brush and i just brush right there and come to this side and also just brush just like like that and this is going to help or uh, it is going to enable me really cover a bigger space within a short period of time so always make sure you retouch at a distance and it's going to help you save so much time if at all you have a number of photos to retouch so that is tip number four for you and lastly we have tip number five so tip number five is going to be knowing the basic shortcuts when you're retouching your image for example if at all you are doing for example your skin retouching always know these are the most important shortcuts that i tend to use when it comes to skin retouching or retouching images in photoshop and they help me save a lot of time for example if at all i want to zoom in i'm just going to simply come and press ctrl plus and you can see that is going to zoom in and ctrl or command minus it is going to zoom out and if at all i want to uh, for example select my clone stamp tool i'm just going to simply press s on the keyboard and you can see it has automatically selected this and i use this to remove blemishes so if at all i want to select the brush or the brushes i'm just going to press b on the keyboard b is going to select the brushes or the brush tool then if at all i want to increase on the size of the mixer brush tool instead of coming right here to the settings and i get uh, the size to look like the one i want i'm just going to come and use the shortcuts of the bracket key so the left bracket key is going to or the open bracket is going to reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool and the right bracket or the close bracket is going to increase on the size of my mixer brush tool so basically uh, those are the shortcuts and when it comes to for example eye whitening and switching in between these black and white masks i can just use x on the keyboard and that is going to switch in between black and white basically that is or those are the shortcuts i tend to, to use when it comes to retouching faster and they help me really do a very fast and quick retouching so you can replay the video and you note down those shortcuts so that you practice and get used to these shortcuts so basically those are my five tips to retouching faster in photoshop and if at all you have a tip and I haven't mentioned it and you feel like it is going to be helpful, make it a point that you drop it down in the comment section so that someone out there can read the comments and really benefit from your comments. So this is it for today's tutorial or the, today's tips or video. And if at all you have found this helpful, make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this to many people out there. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.